Welcome to Inspire for Travel and just in case you are new to my channel, my name is Wemba Imani. Right now you are looking at Tukuyu, it's a village located in the Mbeya region, Rungwe district here in the southern highlands of Tanzania, beautiful country of Tanzania, East Africa. Now, we'll just be exploring the village, you'll get an idea of what it's like. Now, Mbeya is known primarily for being the breadbasket of Tanzania. A lot of agricultural produce are grown in the region, so you'll see some of that here from the video today. <music> What's good fam? Welcome to Tukuyu. Tukuyu in the Rungwe district here in the Mbeya region. It's absolutely an amazing, amazing place. And so far I have been enjoying my time here. So we'll be exploring this small town. Now it's just on the outskirts of Mbeya city and it's not too far from the Malawi border guys. So a lot of people who are going to Malawi and these places, they will cross from this side here in Tukuyu and move on towards Malawi. So we'll be checking out the vibe here, seeing what's happening here in Tukuyu. I'm really loving the atmosphere here, guys. I mean, just have a look at this amazing view from the mountain top here, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm loving the vibe. So let's take a little walk um, here in Tukuyu, guys. So for those who don't know, the Mbeya region is considered the breadbasket of Tanzania, all right? When it comes to agricultural produce and the whole um, vibe of agriculture, farming, Mbeya is number one in Tanzania. Now, different um, produce are grown here from bananas, watermelon, you got rice, potatoes, maize, all different fruits and vegetables that you can think of is grown here in this fertile region. And it's not only shipped uh, around Tanzania, they also export to other neighboring countries. And one of the things I've noticed being here so far, there are so many different trucks that's passing and crossing the border to Malawi, to Zimbabwe, um, Zambia, sorry. And right here in Tukuyu, it's not too far from the Malawi border. So a lot of people who are going on to Malawi usually do a stop over here in Tukuyu and then they will move on and cross into Malawi guys but just look at this amazing view it's absolutely stunning it's breathtaking now people are waking up to this every single day now of course for some people who've gr grown up here um, they they're used to it but if you're visiting this is something that will definitely take your breath away and you'll appreciate the beautiful environment here and I'm and and that's what I'm doing right now so if you look here on the other side so many banana trees I'm seeing particularly here right now a lot of banana is grown here and it's incorporated um, in the people's diet because some of the restaurants I'm seeing while I'm passing through the village here they're selling um, in DZ fried bananas and different things like that so very interesting So this dirt road will lead you to other parts where people live. So you get a lot of people living down this side and even further down where you can see all the greenery. These are all houses as well that's down there. So that's really interesting. Mambo Vipi? Yeah. So we're moving on. So let me know what you think of the vibe you're seeing so far here in this fertile region. In this small village of Tukuyu here, I really like it. It's a real laid-back feel, different from um, the coastal villages, in my opinion. I guess number one, the weather is is different. It can get really cold, then it gets hot again. The weather is different from coastal towns, and um, the region here, like I said in um, previous videos, is mainly Christian. So I've had, I haven't met, I haven't seen any mosque or anything like that since I've been here. But they are, but they're not as visible as you'll expect to see them in the coastal areas. So that's really interesting, guys. 
So yeah, this is it, man. I hope you lot are enjoying the vibe here in Takuyu. One of the first things I've, I've noticed in comparison to other parts of Tanzania, things are really, really affordable here when it comes to food. Um, you know, you can get a meal for a thousand shillings. That's like under one pound, really, you know, for like rice, vegetables and some meat. So that's really unique here in this region and people are really chill. So let me show you what I'm seeing right now here in Tukuyu, baby. We're coming up to the tower here in the area. And everywhere you go in Tanzania, you'll see like a, a clock tower right in the center of the town. Well, this one is not quite a clock tower. It might have been a long time ago, but this is the tower here in um, the district here in Tukuyu. So pretty much this is the vibe guys. I mean, if we go further down, it's quite dusty down there, but people are just selling um, secondhand clothing and different things like that. And you will get, of course, things like shoes, secondhand shoes, like over there, you can see the people over there buying some of those stuff. So these are some of the businesses people rely on in this region. Now, so far my experience in Mbeya has been great. Um, I haven't had any real issues um, per se everyone's been quite welcoming and yeah so it's, it's been a good vibe and I'm really enjoying the beautiful atmosphere of the place look at those amazing trees the, the region is very green that's one of the first things you'll notice when you come to Mbeya region to Kuyu, the, the, the region is very, very green. The Nyakusa tribe, which dominates the whole Rungwe district, can also be found in the northern part of Malawi. In 1891, the Lutheran and Moravian Christian missionaries started work in this region aiming to convert the local population to their faith. So when you visit this region today, in Mbeya region, Tikuyu, all these areas, you'll find that the majority of people follow the Christian faith and the denominations you'll find here are the Lutheran and Moravian Christian denomination and also Roman Catholics. <laughs> 